Welcome back. So, when we left last time, we had uh, our solar panel just kind of leaned up against the flower pot. The solar panel was connected to the charge controller and the charge controller connected to our battery. We had our bedroom stereo powered from that battery and the battery was being charged by solar power. What we didn't show you was how we kind of finalized the installation by mounting the solar panel to the side of the house and how we ran the wires nice and cleanly into that uh, charge controller and put the charge controller up against the wall. So we're going to walk through that today, show you how we got it done. Uh, in the process of doing so, we figured it'd be good to add a second solar panel to the system. Why don't we take a look at uh, what we're going to need to get this done today. First of all, we have a uh, solar panel identical to the one we have up there. Again, this is the Global Solar 12 watt panel. Uh, it's all mounted in a single frame and it comes with attached wire, which is really helpful. Uh, we are also going to need some screws. These are quarter inch by three eighths inch screws. Uh, they are short enough and thick enough to mount to the uh, pre-established mounting holes here. Nuts that'll fit those, uh, those screws and some washers. For the actual mounting uh, hardware, we are going to use these uh, perforated steel slats that I found here at Jackson Hardware in San Rafael. You can probably find these just about anywhere. Maybe the big box stores carry them. Uh, what they are is just a, a steel plate, which is maybe an eighth inch thick, with perforated holes about every inch. So those line up with the, uh, the existing holes on the panel really well. These things are somewhat flexible, so uh, we're going to be doing a lot of bending with this stuff to get the right angle. Ultimately, we're going to end up with something like this, so that we can mount this side to the house, have the panel sit on top, and then we can adjust the angle uh, according to our latitude and longitude. How we determine that angle, we're going to use this book, which is uh, the photovoltaic installation manual. This is a handy thing to have around because it also goes over a whole bunch of wiring considerations, gives you a good overview of hooking up various battery, uh, battery installations, so it's been a really useful book. Uh, our other miscellaneous tools, we're going to need a little hacksaw. We're not really going to cut through any of this stuff, but we do need to score it so it knows exactly where to bend. Our trusty Swiss tool, a Sharpie marker so we can mark where we're going to be doing the bending, and as always, electrical tape. And that's about it. So with that, uh, let's get started. The angle that we're ultimately going to go for is going to be about a 60 degree angle. That seems to be kind of the best compromise where we live around the San Francisco Bay Area. So this will get a little bit tighter and this guy is going to fit right in there. In order to accomplish that, we needed a piece that had eight of these holes. We're going to mark those off. Four, six, eight. We're going to want to bend and break this panel right at that ninth hole. So we take our hacksaw. You could probably even use the one that comes with the, the Swiss tool because we're not cutting all the way through. We're just scoring it enough so that when we bend it back and forth to break it, it's going to break pretty clean. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting here. All right. <clears throat> That should be enough. We can see a nice trench in there. So we're gonna take it and bend it right at that score that we just created. And you can see it's bending real clean. It's not bending anywhere else on the metal, just right across that cut. And you bend it back and forth until it breaks off. Next, we're gonna to wanna to create this number. And if you cut this off of your three foot long original plate, uh, you're going to have plenty of room left to create this guy. So we're going to count off uh, to the 23rd hole. That'll give us enough space to put the panel and then where we mount the, uh, the thing against the wall. Three, that's where our bend is going to go. So we're going to mark that. Now when you bend it this time, uh, don't score it because that'll weaken the steel. And since we're going to bend that thing a little bit here and there, we don't want it to break at any point. So we're going to bend the uh, the fresh unscored steel here and you may have a better way to figure this out but basically I just put it up against a nice uh, right angle nice tough right angle here and then push down on as close as you can to the uh, to the edge of the wall here so we're trying not to get too round of a bend you know we're trying to get it nice and clean so. 
don't bend it too much at this point because we'll fix the angle later when we look at all the solar charts. So probably just enough to so you know where it's bent and you can uh, change that angle a little bit later. So that gives us this guy. Now let's create this guy out of this guy. Now this is gonna be a little trickier because getting those bends right on those holes real clean, I don't know if we can do it over here. And this guy, you don't wanna bend it too far because you always want the obtuse angles on here. Looks like that's gonna work pretty well. So let's bend at the other uh, third hole there. Yeah, so that's gonna work just fine. So that's gonna give us our little support guy once we get that bent. And uh, that's, that's how we're gonna uh, fix the panels to the wall.